Okay, YouTube, um, this is the continuation of a vlog I started, uh, Lot 104. This is the third installment in a series where I take you from, from start to finish, from a uh, quarter acre lot to the finished product. Uh, we're in the third installment in the series. Um, go back and check out the first two. Um, and this is the slab prep, where the, the concrete is actually poured. I'll take you through what to look for as far as the prep process, what to look for as far as vapor barrier, wire mesh, uh, any gravel, um, you for ground, grounding rod. Um, so go back and check out the first two. Uh, first one is the actual layout of your lot. And second one is under, underground plumbing. Um, and we're on the third one and I'll see you when I get out there. Okay, um, we're on our way to the to the lot lot 104 go back and check out the first two vlogs um trying to put together a series of vlogs to take you from from a lot a layout lot quarter of an acre lot to a uh, finished product take you through the actual construction process you're looking at the the uh prep they have actually prepped <clears throat> the uh the lot here for for concrete to be poured probably tomorrow or or the next day i'm not quite sure but this is this is the process um like i said we we have two two previous vlogs um the first one is the actual layout of of your of your of your lot of your land of your actual house it's, it's framed formed up framed up <clears throat> house and then the second one is plumbing under slab let's go back and check out those this is the one we're doing right now is is a slab prep so they go through and put down vapor barrier that's what you see here um let's say six mil plastic and a underlayment type that goes right up under your your, your slab um, and I, I check that I make sure it's at least a six mil plastic. You have your your wire mesh here. It, it's used to help reinforce the the concrete that that will be poured here, um, and it should be elevated. And it's sitting on little these little plastic chairs or what they are called here, the little little plastic chairs. It should should be elevated. <clears throat> I also check that all the plumbing penetrations or any penetrations that are going through the vapor barrier is, is taped and sealed. Um, and they are. They, these guys are pretty good about, about doing a, a good job of sealing any, any penetrations. And that's your, that's your, your garage layout right here, right? That's the framed out, formed out garage layout here. I see if you can, hopefully you can, you can tell, you can look at it. <clears throat> But I'm gonna try to get you around here. Um, that is the the garage, the garage layout there. Um, that is the front porch area. There'll be like a elevated porch there. And this is the the grounding rod. That metal piece of rebar sticking up. That's that's your ground rod, and it's attached. It should run at least at least 20 feet in the in the horizontal. Um, and that's your ground rod. That will be attached to your your grounding grounding system. And down here in Georgia, you can have it encased in in your footing, in your in your concrete footing. Um, 
what else can we talk about um and that's basically it with with this particular inspection these are your let me kind of back away <clears throat> but these are your, your grade beams your interior interior load bearing walls um and that's where your your reinforced rebar if you you're wondering what that what those pieces of metal on the interior of the of the of the slab that's where your your interior low bearing walls will sit and they all have to be reinforced it's a it's a footing it's an interior footing and they all have to be reinforced um so i'll check that as well make sure they're all elevated they're all, they're all sitting on chairs everything's got to be elevated <clears throat> when it comes to 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 concrete and pouring concrete uh, these are your footings this is considered a, a monolithic slab. And all this will be, you will have concrete poured all on top of all of this. So this, this is a pretty, pretty critical stage in the, in the inspection process. Um, because once this stuff is covered, it's, it's pretty much a wrap. So I, I, I thoroughly go through and check, um, you know, vapor barrier, uh, make sure it's sealed and taped. And all the seams are taped and sealed. Make sure your wire mesh, which is this, this wire mesh here, and it's used to, to reinforce the, the actual concrete. Make sure it's, it's overlapping as well um, and, and elevated. Make sure all the penetrations, you see all the plumbing, plumbing and, and electrical penetrations coming up through the, the vapor barrier. Make sure that's sealed and tight and uh check for the the grounding rod uh showed you that and let's see what else we can talk about um typically i'll go through and and probe the footings go around to probe the footings here these are your, your footings on a, on a monolithic slab and i'll i'll put up a diagram to show you and i'll give you a cut of what a actual what a, a, a monolithic slab actually looks like but they have a third party engineering company that comes through and you can see the holes already in, in the footings they have a, another company to come through and probe the footings and they'll submit an a, a engineer's letter to me um, but typically I, I go through with a with a probe and probe the footings to make sure there, there are no voids uh, but this this is already done here. They and I they'll submit like I said a, a engineer's letter And that's really all I have for you on this particular one. If you guys have any comments any questions Please hit me up down below if you like this one um, give, Definitely give me a thumbs up and share it with with other individuals um, A lot of people don't don't really get to see this this stage in in construction um, But go back and check out the first two and I will take you, hopefully in an eight-part series, I'll take you to the end, end product. Uh, the, lot, the lot right next door here, that is what the first vlog looks like. <clears throat> That's where they're, they're actually laying out the outline of, 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 of the slab of your house. So go back and check out. But we're, we're taking one, one particular lot. This is lot 104. We're taking this one, and we're taking it through each phase to a finished product and that's your that's your lot there and uh, it's, it's entitled lot 104 go back and check it out hope you guys enjoyed this one um please please comment if you got any questions um i hope you like this guys um hope you found this informative and we will see you on vlog number four which is the framing stage and I'll, I'll, let me let me take you over here to show you kind of show you what <clears throat> if I can take you over and show you what the next stage or the next vlog will actually look like if I can get it up get over here but once this slab is poured once this is poured they'll start framing it out they'll go through and frame it out once they pour that that slab will look like like this one and they'll start start framing it out and we'll we'll come back when that lot which is lot 104 is all framed out here
like this one here. Okay, guys.